Hey, this is Ben, and we're now going to talk about Stella SEA, or as some people call it, the Assassin. This is our fast boat, this is our expert boat, this is our advanced paddler's boat. It's skinny, it's long, and it's quick. Anyway, let's go over its features, and then uh, we'll come back and see where we're at. We're going to go to the back. Much plumber bow than most of our boats have been up until this design, so that gives us a much longer waterline length. So, at a 20 foot boat, we've still got a decent waterline length. Uh, recurved a little bit here to give control of the waves and allow debris to fall underneath. The deck is more peaked and almost chisel like, so you can use this for direction and also for shedding water in through the carbon handle. And then we've kept this peak through here, and instead of going with a triangular deck, we've gone with more of a radius deck to allow water to keep shedding off easily and give us some good volume. Coming back through here, we've kept it nice and high, and then we've kept really high gunnels. The gunnels are keeping the water out of the boat for a very dry ride. As you can see from the side, you can't see the top of the foot pegs. That's how dry this boat is. It's very narrow through here. The maximum width of this boat is just over 16 and a half inches. So the cutaways are built in, but in reality, the boat's so narrow anyway, you don't need much of a cutaway. Standard cockpit design, we did make this a little more vertical to keep water out of there. We kept the bungees in here for a water bag if you'd like to use one, and we have the typical vent through here. This one uh, is sporting the single strap. It goes either single or double. They come standard with the double. And then we go back through here, through to the Debrito bail. Leash holder, no water bottle holder in this boat uh, as of yet because that keeps the volume of water you can store in here down. It's a racing machine. Cockpit, a little deeper than the regular ones again to keep it nice and dry for the advanced paddler and a little more rounded back here to help with that rotation. This boat is a North American boat so it comes standard with the overstern rudder, hence the cleat for the up haul line bungees on the back deck with the line guide. Smooth back deck for water to run over the top of it. And then coming back down through here, you'll notice we decrease the volume back here a little bit to make it easier to control when it's in a wave. This boat right now is sporting, as you can see, the rudder guide. Sorry, not the rudder guide, the weed guard and the small rudder. And then we come back here to a stern that has been rounded out some with a slight change in the rocker to make maneuverability back here much better. Overstern rudder post, carbon handles, line guides. There are tubes that run from the line guides back into the rudder hatch. What you'll notice on this boat is it's very round through here to keep the speed up and then as we come through to this section of the boat we've kept a flatter section behind the seat to help with riding waves and initial stability and then the sides are nice and high with a soft chime into a fairly vertical gunnel to help with some great secondary stability. Moving on up through here Again, nice high gunnels, keep the boat nice and dry. And then the boat starts rounding out again at the front a lot to keep some good hull speed. And then we have a modified bow. First of all, a bit of a keel line through here. So uh, when using it with a wing, as 99. maybe 8% of people do with this boat, there is less yaw. And the rocker has been changed to optimize it for playing in the waves and giving us a good straight line speed. The Stella SEA, also known as the Assassin. Have fun, Patrick.